the 2018 Ninja 400 has more power, less weight, and better parts. The new Ninja 400 has a great distribution of power throughout the rev range, offering good low and mid-range grunt for the street. The motor also gives riders the opportunity to ring it out all the way to the red line on track, with torque peaking at a lofty 8,000 revolutions per minute. The 2018 Kawasaki Ninja 400's power plant increased its stats in many ways, but not in size or weight. While the bore and stroke, compression ratio, and displacement grew, its physical size did not. Kawasaki has introduced larger diameter header pipes that accommodate more exhaust flow. A new oil pan design allows a more direct line to the muffler, shaving off a bit of weight from the headers. When it comes to handling, the 2018 Ninja 400 is as agile as can be. Whether you are an experienced rider or someone with a newly minted M-Class license, you'll quickly discover that it takes almost no effort to whip the Ninja 400 around. The low 31-inch seat height returns. While doubling the padding, Kawasaki shaved the profile of the seat, allowing for increased mobility. Additionally, the clip-on style handlebars have been moved back slightly, encouraging a more upright position. At the same time, the foot pegs have been moved back a bit, angling you forward. Sportier wheels give the Ninja 400 a more aggressive look. While it's not a big change, one of my favorite aspects of the new Ninja are the five-spoke wheels. The new Ninja receives new suspension. Though it's sprung and damped on the softer side, mainly to accommodate new riders, it has good damping characteristics, settling quite well. That's good, because the only adjustment is shock spring preload, 